welcome back to that LA garage. Today, uh, I got some good news and I got some bad news. So I've been waiting for a long time to get my case half, uh, my my block, my two case halves. One arrived, to, the other one is supposed to arrive tomorrow. So later on in the video, I'm gonna unbox it and see what side it came, what came. I'm gonna clean it and hopefully it's the correct side so I could start because this, this motor is, starts assembly on one side and then the other side is the driver's side, I believe. You do you install the, uh, the driver's side, you put you install the crank, there's three pistons that go over there, so I could get pretty far today if that side is the one. And if it's the other side, I could just clean it and I could just twiddle my thumbs till I get it tomorrow. Um, for right now, I'm going to uh, work on the rods. These are the, these are the Cobarillo rods that I got. Uh, in past videos, I was talking about it that measurements didn't add up and everything we finally got the right set everything is good with these um we found out that all rods in my in my car were were bent that's why they didn't match up so uh we're gonna do uh two things over here getting it ready before preparing it before uh, installation. The first thing is we're gonna weigh them. I have a scale over here. We're gonna weigh all of them and we're gonna see if there's any deviation in any of the rods, uh, it, which is common. Um, you know, they come in within what, usually Carrillo, Manly, these, these high-end companies, they would come, they would come with one uh, gram of one another, which is great, but I like to fine-tune them and try to get them all the same. So I'm going to be working on that. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. The next step is uh, checking the stretch of these bolts. I'm going to have to torque all of them down and then right on it, eat what torque spec each bolt needs to get to achieve the correct stretch. Uh, it's a tedious little process. I'm excited to jump in there and truthfully this whole engine build, I might skip some parts because I, I, I miss my car already. I want to drive it already. So. Uh, you know, when filming, it usually takes five times as long to do the same same thing if I was just doing it and putting it back together. So that's that. Another thing is that I'm hoping for it's inside the box uh, is the pistons. I'm supposed to receive pistons inside it's either this box or the other case half. If that's the case, I can I can start doing the same thing with uh, pistons today. I can resize the pistons and uh, nice. Cut that there. I can I can uh, weigh in all the pistons and do the same thing. They can't usually come within close proximities, but uh, I usually have to grind in the bot the insides of them a little bit just to get all the all the weights to be exactly the same. It's not necessary, but um, for high horsepower applications, high RPM applications, and any type of application, balancing these basic components on the engine to the, to the gram makes for a very smooth running engine. And a smooth running engine, you can, you can have longer life and less issues, no, less vibrations in the engine, things of that sort. So I hope the pistons are inside that box. That's another thing. And all right, so let's get going. Uh, if you're new to this channel, please uh, consider cons subscribing. If you've been watching and up to this, thanks for keep watching. Thanks, thank you for continuing to watch. Um, any comments down below? Let's get to work. All right, here we go. These are my six rods that we're going to be using. I did measure them. I'll give you a little little uh, um, example. So I put it on and I mark exactly. These are marks from pistons in the last job I did. So I put them all in the same place. We got here 530. I wrote on it 530. We had, and I go through all of them. And give it a second to settle, 530. So we have Two that came up, 531, give it a second to settle. See, 531, I'm going to re, like I, try, I calibrate it by putting in the other 530s in there just to make sure everything, see, 530. So unless we're gonna put this one back on to make sure that I don't need to cut material out of it. Yeah, this one's 531 again. 
Um, this one was 531, and I shaved it already, and let's just confirm that it is 530. I'm gonna, sh oh, I might have to shave a tiny bit off of this one again. But let me just show you where I've cut. This is one that's uncut, and this one that's cut. I just sand down a little bit of it on the grinder. So I cut down a tiny bit from the bottom, and then from the top, I'll sand down just the top head. I'm about to do that. I'll do, I'll do that right now. And it's pretty simple. wipe down whatever shavings or dust is left off. Now, the important part of doing this process is finding parts that that are are not going to sacrifice the strength of the rod. These tiny little corners, any corner actually uh, engineer on the an engineering standpoint could should could should when it's rounded off it's stronger. So, not that these are really that sharp of corners, but um, if I round them off, I'm not going to sacrifice any type of uh, strength. And again, sanding up here is not, not going to do the same. I'm not cutting down tight, uh, too, too much on the top anyways. With that, we finished our, our rods weighing. Now we're going to uh, check the stretch of all the bolts and we're going to go from there. All right, so now we're going to do the stretch. We're going to measure stretch on the bolt. Both, both, uh, I mean, both bolts have to be uh, loose. Uh, on my vise, I have these plastic inserts that don't damage the rods, right? And I put them at, a, at an angle like this. I pre-measured where I want it from zero to just after the five that gives me the range that I'm that I need I mean I need it to be after the the five so that's 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 my range in between there anything between there is fine so what we have to do is measure it without any load and put it to zero so we're gonna move this around and we could put it we're gonna set it to zero all right there's a point on this side and there the bolts also have points on them as well so I'm going to insert this here. I'm going to push down on this point over here and let this fall into the hole. There's a hole where the bolt is. And then just zero out the gauge. Right. Right there. We're zeroed out, just a tiny bit off, right there. Zeroed out. OK? So now we're going to remove this guy. We're going to tighten it. We're going to start off over here on their thing. This is our bolt. This is the stretch range that we need. And this is um, this is where we're going to start torquing at, right? 40 foot pounds. Mm. All right, now we're at 40 foot pounds. That's where we should be starting from. And now we're going to re re-measure it put it, make sure it's in the hole fell into the hole and now we're right at the five so that is 40 foot pounds i'm going to give it 45 foot pounds we'll see where where it goes if it passes so right now it it falls in right before the five so right before the range so i want to Tightened it, tightened it a little bit more. The last rod I did, I was able to do it with 50 foot pounds to put me right in the range. So I'm just gonna jump to that, just because I've seen these the, how this bolt already behaves. These types of bolts behave. We're gonna put it at 50 foot pounds. All right, we're gonna recheck it. We're gonna see if we're in the range. If we're in the range, I'm going to write it for that bolt. Uh, it's hard to hold it. Right there, just past my mark, and I'm, I'm happy with that. 
So 50 foot pounds for this bolt. I'm going to reverse this around. Oops. So 50, bolt, 50 foot pounds is good for this bolt right here. I'm going to reverse it around. And I'm going to measure this guy. And I'm going to do, I'm going to do that to all, all the rods. So that's, that's this rod. I'm going to mark this. I'm going to go on to the do, do the next one and next one. And after that, after that, after I finish with the rods, I can open up the block, open up the box, see what block, uh, what's a block half came, and then I can start putting uh, rod bearings. Uh, three rod, th uh, three rods have to go on the crank before we put them into the into the into the block, uh, if it's the correct side. So um, I'm going to finish this, and I'm going to meet you when we open up the box. All right, so this is the part of the video that I'm really excited about. Let's see what half I have in here, and also let's see if I got the pistons. Wow, that's some nice packing. Might be both of them in here. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. This is side that got sleeve. <sighs> All right, regardless, this is the correct side of the head that I'm looking for. The correct block side of the block <clears throat> I could start assembling it if I have the pistons and we have the second one so you know what the second box is the pistons which is good news and bad news because I could start putting the crank in it but I can't really put pistons because I don't have the pistons yet so tomorrow we get the pistons I got as far as I can on this block. Uh, I'm ready to install pistons on the other side. There are pistons and rods that slide down. Uh, I got to do the, the piston gaps also, but I don't have pistons or the rings. So I have to hold off over here. I finished pit, uh, cleaning both 
both uh, case halves as well. And uh, I'm just ready for the next part. So that's the end of this video. Uh, next video will be me starting to install the pistons and, uh, and uh, cutting them down to make them all the same weight, just like we did with the uh, connecting rods. And, um, and that's it. Then we can continue finishing up the rest of the block and I can start driving my car again. I'm really excited about that. So uh, again, if you're new to this, this uh, channel, please subscribe. If you, if you got any uh, questions or anything, comment down below and I'll see you in the next episode when I start putting this thing back together. And that's a wrap. So I'll see you, see you on the uh, next video.